Are you struggling out there? Come on. I know you are. You're trying to figure out whether or not you should work remotely. I mean, there's so much articles. There's so much stuff talking about it. Your firm's telling you to do something. They're not telling you to do something. You're not sure what to do. So we're spending some time in different shows to dive into this important topic because it's relevant now more than ever. So tune in to the latest episode of the Masters of Innovation and Evolve Now to figure out how to make a choice for yourself. Looking towards the future with anticipation, raising up the technological conversation from the east to the west and all across the nation. Because knowledge is secured and we got the medication. We're the masters of innovation, the masters of innovation. We're the masters of innovation, the masters of innovation. Joe, how are you doing today? Good, good. My office is plenty cold, so I got my uh, got my fleece on. I also heard Joe, you just made it back from Disney. You survive. Uh, yes, but, uh, man, was I throwing money at Mickey Mouse as fast as he could catch it. They've, they've got that down to a science. Ooh, that could like be the whole, you know, the whole like exit through the gift shop thing. They got me every time, every time. That could be another episode, Joe. That's a future topic right there. But today, Joe, we're going to talk all about, we're going to talk about some pros and cons of remote, remote work. We'll kind of take both sides. Mm-hmm. Of the coin here. I mean, personally, me, people probably know I'm pretty pro remote work. It's the future. We all got to do it. But it's important not to put our blinders on to the cons of some things. So, Joe, let's, let's hear from you, the master of innovation. What are some of these pros and cons we need to think about? We try to figure out whether it's for ourselves, our firm organization, whether or not, and how much we have people work remotely. 